Well, hello and welcome back to Zalonka. So, last time we cut the grass and didn't do anything else with it. So, I figured we had enough hay and we could row the grass up, bale it, and get and, and make some silage just to sell. Which I thought sounded alright. So, let's do that. We need to find the wind rower. Did I put it inside the barn here? I think I did. Yeah, we got plenty of hay. In fact, let's just check that the cows have got yet. Yeah, they're not eating it too quickly. We've got straw, we've got slurry. But no milk yet. Alright, the wind rower is in there. So yes, we're going to make some silage. Which means I shall have to get a bale wrapper. Even if it's just rented. Oh, jeez. Oh what where I'm going. Ah, oh, yes, of course. We've cut this bit as well, didn't we? Well, we might as well start by... Uh, Rowing this bit up there. Uh. Yes, here we go. That's better. Good. Yes, we'll get this bit rowed up. We'll get the other field rowed up. Do need to service this tractor at some point. At the minute, I think we're okay. But yes, we've got a, a baler that makes the absolute smallest bales. In, in fact, it doesn't. It only makes 3,000 litre bales, which is um, not very much at all. To bear that in mind. Because as we... Uh, the, the fact that we've got a load of bales does not mean we've got a load of hay. I will, I will be... That will be one of the first things we upgrade, but it was extremely cheap. And it still makes bales, so even though it's very slow, we should be okay for a while. Right. It's a very awkward shaped field. Obviously, it's not going to be a field forever. In fact, I could put a, um, a silage pit or something next to it. But, uh, in the meantime, we are going to make bales. Right then, I'm going to get all this road up, including the other field. We shall get it all baled. And then we will have a look at bale wrappers. Every inch your feet have touched 
There we go. All the grass rode up. I have just had a thought. I could be getting the Massey Ferguson to cultivate up the big field. Oh no, wait, hang on. Have I got a uh, a direct drill now? Yes, I have got a direct drill now. So I could even be getting the Massey Ferguson to... Ah, uh, we want to put down lime. We wanted to put down lime. Uh, so... What on earth is that? Huh. Um, yes. We haven't got the money for that at the minute. Um, I suppose we could spread lime after the uh, after the crops planted. Uh, wheat, barley, yeah. I think we'll go for a... Um... Oh dear, I've still got the skinny tyres on. Let's go put the uh, the bigger tyres back on. But yeah, we'll go for a, a straw producing crop. Cereal crop. Uh, standard tyres, that'll look. Yeah, we'll get the direct drill set up. Now, I don't think that I've got any seed, unfortunately. Ah, oh, it's got seed in it. That's good then. Yes, so. Yeah, we could get barley in there. I reckon. Uh, we could get barley or wheat in there. What do we reckon? I reckon this horse drill is not entirely stable. Yeah, while we're bailing all this up, the worker could be putting in some... Let's go with barley. Like I said, we can always spread lime afterwards. Just going to go across a few times. Get it all neatened up. Don't think we've got to do that at the other end. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have some barley, I think, this year. Start it over at this end. It can work backwards. And there we go. So what we need to do is now get the uh, the baler and start bailing everything up in the slowest way possible because that is the baler we've got, unfortunately. Oh, 
really ought to put in a little track down here. Just down the hill. Nice and smooth. Okay. Just pop this one over here. Nice and neatly. Pick up the baler. And we'll be on the way to making ourselves some grass bales. Oh crikey, there's a wall there. Why didn't somebody tell me there was a wall there? Okay, here we go. So, it shouldn't take too long, apart from the unloading process, to um, to get these off offloaded. Still going to be 3,000 litres of bale, I see. Which is remarkably small. But, uh, that's okay. It just means we will have a lot more of them. Uh, right. Let's try and get the whole swath into the baler. There we go. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on the um, on the worker as well. Although I've got to admit, I don't think it's going to have too much of a problem. And um, yeah, we just need to get this baling done, really. Next month is October, and we will be focused on the olives. I did read a chat, or a comment, sorry, that said that I wasn't leaving it long enough to uh, before I mulched, which is a fair comment. So the grass has to grow longer, and you need to mulch, then plough, and then fertilise for the best yield. So I've not been getting the best yield out of the olives at all. And I probably need to re-evaluate how I do it next year. In the meantime, we need to make a bit of money on some silage. So. Oh dear, I'm missing it all again. Right, I'll try and concentrate. And get the bailing done. Well, the baling should have been much quicker than the seedling, seeding, however, with this baler. The worker has almost finished the field at the same time that I'm finishing the baling. Which is absolutely crazy.
As for the wrapping, I do want to use a new machine, well not a new machine, but a machine that I haven't used before in the Gowell pack. It's going to be part of the front loader. Um, it's the front loader attachment. Right, that could stay in the baler now. I think the worker has got another strip, or very thin of a thin strip to do, up the edge of the field. Um, then we'll be able to tidy up the far end, see how they've gone on up there. Um, but yes, if I can buy the wrapper, that would be amazing. If I can't, I can't. It's not the end of the world. We can definitely rent it. But for the wrapping, I will need the case tractor. I need to get the weight on the back of it as well. So... This can go there. We need to take, put the weight on the back and take the forks off. The forks go down here. I'll know where they are. There we go. As for the wrapper, this one here. Now we can afford it, but it would leave us with fifty-five pounds, which uh, hmm. Uh, are we going to be doing a lot of wrapping? Probably not. Let's lease it this time. If we decide we want to do more in the future, then we will buy it. But not this time. We'll lease it. All right, so I need to go over to the store and pick that up. And then we'll find out how it works. So I guess I'll be picking the bales up on the wrapper, wrapping them while I'm moving, to them, moving them to the location that I want them in. And then we will, uh, and then when then we drop them off again. Not entirely sure how or anything, but we will, that's how we'll work it. Right, so the worker has finished. Let's just quickly skip over here. Oh, he's done. Excellent job. Excellent job. Wonder if we could get him spreading some lime. Yeah, so ideally I want this field and the potato field covered in lime. Um, but yeah, also the, the vegetable field up here, when that's been harvested, that needs to be limed as well. We might keep the lime spreader overnight and do that one too. But it'd be nice to do this one before it's germinated and the potato field as well. But I don't mind if the potato field is done next time or this time. We've got a lot of bales off there. I mean, we did spread slurry, which was amazing. But um, that's a lot of bales, that is. So, ideally, we want to go and pick up the lime spreader and lime to start getting this going on that. And then we can worry about the wrapping. At least lime's cheap. Oh dear. At least cedars are cheap. No, wait. They're not cheap. Alright, let's get this into here. And drop that off. Okay. Um, so, yes, we look at lime spreaders. It's going to be the big one with the extension because I do not want to keep coming back for more lime 4513 with an extra 885 overnight so okay and we need lime as well don't we at least lime isn't too expensive we'll start off with eight and see how full that gets us We 
In fact, I could pick up the wrapper on the front of this and bring it back at the same time. That would make more sense. Because it's, it's a front loader and three point linkage wrapper. And then I'll just transfer it over onto the uh, onto the front loader when we're doing that. Right. So that's eight thousand liters of lime that I've bought. Do we think that is going to fill the lime spreader? I have no idea, to be honest. I haven't used the lime spreader that much before. Well, let's pick up the. Uh, Pick up the bale wrapper first. There we go. Lift that up. Oh, crikey. There's a sign there. Must be a sign. Haha. -ha. Anyway. Let's get these loaded up. And we'll see how full it is. Alright, there we go. So 16,000 litres. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. We shall take it back. I I know it uses lime extremely quickly. But uh, it does have a wide spread on it as well, especially with these 6 metre spreaders. Right, we'll drop the wrapper off over at the grass field, then I'll come back for the case tractor. That's just sitting there idling and wasting fuel. In fact, we probably want it up here-ish, because we'll be doing the, uh, the bales around the other field first. So let's just drop that off there. Then we can pick it up with the front loader. As for the lime, we'll get it, get him started, or get her started, get the person started. Then we can focus on the wrapping. I'll probably pile them up at the edge of the field for now. So that we can get on and get some slurry onto the field too. Okay, that's about right. Press H. Send him off. I can get back to here. Don't tell that farmer. Just a slip of the pedal. Okay, so, do I need to unfold it? Yes, I do. Delightful. So, let's see how this thing works then. Put it down here. Aha, that's automatic. Good, good. Amazing. And then I guess I can just pop them over here by the wall I reckon there we go look at that nice and neat isn't it superb
Right then, well I'm going to get on with wrapping the rest of these. And then we'll... Uh, we'll see if we move the lime spreader over to the potato field before then. Rain is on the way. That's not good. We don't like rain. Tank is empty. It's used all that lime already. That is absolutely crazy. Really, really crazy. Right, well. No. Let's send him back to the shop. He can go get some more while I'm wrapping bales. Oh, straight across the, uh, straight across the vegetables. Brilliant. Oh, worker D is blocked by an object. Of course they are. Oh. Simpleton. Right then. Shall we try again? Delightful. Right, I'm going to get on with wrapping the rest of these and then we'll sort the liming out, I think. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly couldn't imagine a neater pile. Beautiful. And we are fermenting. So that's brilliant. They're all wrapped. They're all off the field. We can spread slurry next time on this field. We can get the lime spread. We can get the olives harvested. Fantastic. Well, I think that was a good day's work. I'm going to take this wrapper back to the shop and 
we'll we'll uh, call it a day so thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon bye for now <laughs>